Hello Taurus, Happy New Year. I hope you are doing well. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. Um, thank you really, you know, for being a great support and uh, sharing and liking uh, my videos. I really appreciate uh, Please continue doing so. And without any really further ado, I would like to jump into your spiritual uh, message. I really would like to hear what the Spirit has for you to say. This card jumped and I have to acknowledge Elephant, beautiful cards. Um, I'm using, by the way, the Spirit Animal cards by Kim Crowns. And I will uh, pull a couple more cards um, from the Heart of Fairies by Brian Froud. And if we will need a few more cards to clarify the message, I will uh, pull uh, from another deck uh, the Fairy Oracle by Brian Proud deck. So, um, Elephant. You see this card just kind of, you know, fall like uh, giving a very strong, strong energy, very grounded, very earthy. And um, I believe this is a very important reason why this card came, because obviously if you are a fan of astrology and you're following the astrology, there is a big shift. Uh, Mars planets moved into your sign, moved left uh, Aries and moved in Taurus sign. So for me, this uh, very much says, um, you are stepping, you know, um, in a very firm, uh, uh, on a very firm, you know, ground. You know what you're doing. You are very much uh, have a full trust, confidence uh, in yourself. You you are seen very much as a wise person. Um, your wisdom sort of overwhelms everyone. You are very much knowing yourself, where you're going, what you're doing, your steps are solid. If you are, if it's work related, if you are dealing with anyone in the work, people see your, um, you know, uh, solid work benefits having you in the team on the role, you know what you're doing. Um, you're quite stubborn in your approach. You you know that you have been, you know, working for a number of years, you have, you know, expertise and you know that um, the methods that you will apply will work for you. Uh, my advice, obviously, uh, from the spirit um, would be that um, don't be, you know, narrow minded. Uh, yes, you have expertise. Yes, you know a lot. Yes, you are the divine uh, power. You, you know, obviously uh, elephant. I don't know if, if you know much about elephants, but they are archetypes of dream coming true. So, so I think you, you, you need, you know, obviously to allow yourself to be quite open minded that your dreams, you know, could come true, that you're not, you know, the person that brings, you know, the luck and success to, to others, but also you're bringing yourself that luck and success and your dreams are uh, coming true. But just to be aware that, um, you know, the narrow vision, uh, it's not always uh, the solution that, you know, we need really to adopt um, also, you know, this um, outside the box uh, approach. So that is the the message that I'm hearing from the spirit. Let's see what all the cards are saying. Yes. So like I said, um, you know, being more, uh, you know, adoptable with the different sort of uh, uh, approach that not necessarily uh, one way answers all the questions and can help you in all situations because the next card is oh no um beautiful card quite funny um this card for me tells that if you are not you know um careful the way you know you approach others um, things might go, you know, not the way you planned. And, you know, sometimes that you're thinking, I have an expertise, I know what is best. Um, sometimes, you know, you will uh, trip yourself on, you know, this uh, firm, um, traditional sort of, you know, steps that you are taking. So if it is, you know, regards um, 
the work because I, I see the another card, the queen of the day. It's a very much a fairy that looks after uh, day routines, chores, you know, life chores. So um, this week I feel that you need to be, yes, very much, you know, empowering yourself with the wisdom and knowledge that you have, but also uh, being mindful that um, having you know this outside box approach can really help you to deal with you know day-to-day -day unexpected events so this oh no sometimes could mean um without you know uh having uh, a proper conversation a discussion with other parties you will end up you know making some sort of you know decision that might lead later in um yeah not a very you know great outcome so um in terms you know that you could uh really be helpful for yourself and others and avoid you know these situations that i don't know even you know simple thing of forgetting a, a keys um because you assumed you know that um, your wife your partner your child you know has uh, one set and you ended up you know that none of them you know having that also sort of a, a very simple example to say that you know collaborate with others you know um don't be you know so firm and you know convincing yourself that you know the approach that you will take is the right approach you know collaborate talk with other people i want to also put you know a couple um cards just, just just to see you know if you are dealing with um anything specific um apart from you know day-to-day -day routines and you know your um sort of you know approach um so yeah okay okay we get the oak man which I feel very much that it is your energy. Um, and the term on poets. Um, this card for me really sort of screams of uh, introverted pers perspective, introverted, you know, uh, way of thinking, Taurus. Um, you are sort of, you know, this week having this a uh, very old way of thinking you know it's it's not bad you know to think sometimes in a traditional way but for me again like i say if you want to avoid any um you know uh situations that will put you and cause you uh financial loss or a conflict you really need, you know, to start to think new ways of, you know, collaborating, speaking with people. Um, also, this card represents um, creativity. You know, maybe you need to engage your sources of being more creative about, you know, day-to-day -day routines. Maybe those routines has really made you feel like a very old, you know, person um, who is really don't have any more this motivation, this drive. Yes, you will do what is necessarily what you have to do, but does it give for you a pleasure? What does it give these day-to-day routines? Does it really inspires you? Um, you know, despite all the wisdom that you have, despite all this divine energy, does it really give for you um, the happiness, you know, cheer, cheer, cheerful sort of, you know, a feeling um if you are being sort of you know drawn down by all the routines and you kind of you know stuck in this old way of thinking um you just might lead yourself into situations that will cause you uh, extra frustrations and um upsets so to avoid that my advice is really uh tune in into your um higher spirit energy connect with your inner self try to find some creative ways of thinking uh, how you can approach your day-to-day -day routines how can you you know communicate uh, more effectively with people uh that it doesn't really you know make all those things you know uh, that you are just you know this old uh 
archetype you know individual who has very traditional way of thinking and who can't really embark you know um to to see you know things differently and maybe you know also that puts you in a position to be you know uh not really likable as a person because if you will be perceived as one who has this only very traditional approach um people might not you know be you know keen to 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 go towards you, you know, for the advice, you know, to go really uh, for expertise, knowledge. And um, yeah, it just can be, you know, quite draining. I feel like I want to pull another card um, in terms, you know, the advice that spirit could give you, how you could do that, what is the solution, um, anything, anything Taurus that you could, you know, um, get some help from the spirit. Uh-huh, elk, yeah. Elk also is a very much, you know, father uh, figure, a beautiful animal, um, really very much um, encounters the fact that it is um, also earth, um, you know, a uh, strong earth sign, so which is, you know, sort of you as a Taurus. Um, I really believe that you need uh, to speak, to communicate with your close friend, family circle, um, to engage, you know, your creativity, um, you know, not to be sort of stuck in this old uh, ways of seeing life, um, to, to try whatever that you have today as a problem, as an issue, uh, to communicate, you know, if you are really bogged down with the day-to-day -day routines and this is sort of causing you a mayhem, it's causing constant frustration, um, those small accidents like lost the keys, uh, lock yourself in the car, you know, um, uh, whatever that is, you know, silly, stupid things, um, you know, speak, you know, with other people, if they can give you an advice, how you can improve, you, you know, your, your communication, what changes is necessary um, that you could, you know, uh, help yourself and others. And this is the message for you, my dear Taurus, this week. Um, don't, you know, be bogged down with the day routines. Um, See the beauty of you know um, in the small things. Um, sometimes it's a very difficult, especially when we are in this you know um, uh, unique time and uh, you know difficult uh, because obviously a lot of responsibility falls on our sh uh, shoulders. If you are a, a parent, uh, if you have children. But I can just assure you that you are, you know, protected by the divine spirit. You have all the the the, the knowledge, you know, all this divine power, and, <clears throat> and you can 